Unraveling the mysteries of English conjunctions. Subordinating versus coordinating. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English conjunctions. We're going to specifically focus on subordinating conjunctions and coordinating conjunctions, two key players that add depth and complexity to our sentences. Conjunctions are like the glue of the English language. They connect words, phrases, and clauses together. Conjunctions are divided into three types, coordinating, subordinating, and correlative. For today's discussion, we're zooming in on the first two types, coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Let's start with coordinating conjunctions. These are simple, straightforward, and their job is to connect words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance. Think of words like, and, but, or, so, nor, for, and, yet. These seven conjunctions can be easily remembered with the acronym FANBOYS. Here are a couple of examples. I enjoy reading books and playing the guitar. She was tired, but she still finished her homework. Moving on to subordinating conjunctions. These are a bit more complex. They introduce a dependent clause and express things like cause and effect, time, and contrast. Examples include, although, because, unless, if, since, when, and many more. Here are a couple of examples. I'll go to the market unless it rains. Since you have finished your work, you can play games. So, how do you differentiate between coordinating and subordinating conjunctions? A handy rule of thumb is that coordinating conjunctions create connections between equals, while subordinating conjunctions create relationships between unequals. That is, coordinating conjunctions often connect two main clauses, while subordinating conjunctions connect a main clause and a subordinate, or dependent, clause. There you have it, folks. Understanding the difference between subordinating and coordinating conjunctions will take your English skills to new heights. It's like knowing how to play all the right notes. It gives your language harmony and structure. I hope this video has been helpful in unraveling the mysteries of English conjunctions. Keep practicing, and you'll soon find that these patterns will become second nature. Until next time, keep learning and growing.